Hello everybody. Today we are going to continue lesson 4.3, multiplying and dividing rational expressions. Remember that the rational expression, it can, the term of rational expression, it came from fraction. And fraction has the form numerator to denominator in which denominator it is not equals to zero. And if here we have to work with rational expressions, the numerator and denominator, they are polynomials. So P of X to Q of X, which means the denominator Q of X does not equal to zero. So that we can multiply or divide, first of all, we have to put the condition of the existence of the fraction, which means denominator, the polynomial in place of denominator, not equals to zero. And after we have to factor numerator, factor denominator, that we can get this fraction into the simplest form. And the last that I want to remind it to you, if we have to divide fractions, the first fraction we keep it and divide changes into times the reciprocal of the second one. So let's get started. On page 214 in your book, question number five, what is the simplest form? of the rational expression and what is the domain? So as we said, the domain, it's from denominator not equals to zero. In the place of denominator, we have the polynomial x squared plus 3x minus 18 not equals to zero. So as long as this is a polynomial, we have to factor it. So we will factor it into six, negative three. Six times negative three is negative 18. And when we add, it's the three, the B coefficient. So we can factor it into x plus six times x minus three does not equal to zero. From the first factor, x does not equal to negative six. And from the second one, x does not equal to three. So the domain, it's any real number minus the elements, negative six, three. So we found the domain of this expression. Now we have to simplify it. But as any other fraction, to simplify a fraction, it means to divide numerator, denominator by their common factor. So we have to factor numerator and denominator. Then we can write the numerator x squared minus 36. As you can see, it's a difference between the perfect squares. So it can be factored into x minus 6 times x plus 6. Over denominator, already we factor it, x plus 6 times x minus 3. The common factor x plus 6, so we can simplify by it, in simplest form, x minus 6 over x minus 3. Let's try more. Question 6, so find the product. And the domain. The domain from denominator not equals to zero. So the first denominator, y plus 2, does not equal to zero, from which y does not equal to negative 2. From the second fraction, y squared minus 9 does not equal to zero, then y squared does not equal to 9, so y squared y does not equal positive and negative 3. From these two, we can say that the domain is the real numbers minus the elements, negative 3, negative 2, and 3. Now we will take the fractions one by one, numerator, denominator, and get them into the factored form. The first numerator, y plus 3, it cannot be factored more, so we keep it y plus 3 as it is, over. y plus 2, it cannot be factored, so we keep it y plus 2, times y squared plus 4y plus 4. So what times what is 4, and when we add this 4, it will be y plus 2 times y plus 2 which means y plus 2 squared. 
all over the difference between the perfect squares to factor it, it will be y minus 3 times y plus 3. Now let's check which factors they are common. So we have y plus 3 up and we have it down. We can simplify by it. We have y plus 2 up and we have it down so we can simplify by it. Then y plus 2, y minus 3, here we cannot simplify, so it will be equals y plus 2 over y minus 3. Remember that to simplify fraction, it means to divide numerator denominator by common factor. So take care, don't simplify here by y, because y is not a factor, it's an add-on. That you can simplify, it should be y times 2 over y times negative 3. So in this way, yes? To simplify, we divide numerator, denominator by their uh, by common factor. And in this case, y is not a factor. So take care. Let's try more. Question number 7. Find and simplify ratio of volume figure A to volume figure B. So volume A to volume B equals we do not know. Both of the figures, as you can see, they are rectangular prisms. And remember that volume any prism is area base of the prism times the height of that prism. So I will calculate the volume for each figure. For the first one, I will name it volume A equals area base. The base, it's a rectangle, so length times width, which is 3x times x times the height, which is x plus 1. The volume 2, which is VB, equals Area base, length times width, times the height, which is 2x. So, we found the volume for both of the prisms. Now, we have to make it ratio. So, it will be 3x times x. I kept it factors that we can easily simplify over x plus 2 times x times 2x and equals. Now you look for the common factor. 3, 2, so there is no common factor between the constants. x up and x down. I have factor x common. So I can simplify by it. And there's nothing else common, so it will be 3x. 3 times x, it's 3x times x plus 1 over 2x, uh, we can simplify more, x with x. So then it will be here left 3 only, over 2 times x plus 2. You can leave the answer in factored form or you can distribute 3x plus 3 over 2x plus 4. <clears throat> Write an equivalent expression and state the domain. The domain denominator not equals to zero, in our case x squared plus x minus 30 does not equal to zero. So let's see how to factor the negative 30, 6 and negative 5. When we multiply negative 30 and when we add, it's the coefficient b1. So we can factor it in x plus 6 times x minus 5 does not equal to 0. From the first factor, x does not equal to negative 6. And from the second one, x does not equal to 5. So the domain, it will be all the real numbers minus the elements, negative 6. Five. So we answer it the first part of the question. Now we have to simplify to get it into simplest form, which they are equivalent. So I will put equals and 
I will go and write it here. We have two factor numerator, factor denominator. Already denominator, we factor it. Now I will take the numerator separate. x cubed plus 4x squared minus 12x equals. It's a trinomial, cubic trinomial. So the common factor between the terms is x times x squared plus 4, x minus 12. We can factor it more. So what times what is negative 12? And when we add this 4, it is 6 and negative 2. So 6 negative 2 is negative 12. We add it 4. So we can factor it into x times x plus 6 times x minus 2 all over the denominator, it's x plus 6 times x minus 5 and equals common factor, it's the binomial x plus 6, so we can simplify by it. None of the factors left, they are common, so it will be equals x times x minus 2 all over x minus 5. We can keep it as it is or we can distribute. So it will be x squared minus 2x over x minus 5. Let's try more. The common factor between the two terms, so I see here a, a and the b. So it will be equals a, b. Remember that when we have to work with the exponents, always the least exponent is the common one. So if I have here b3, b, without being written, the exponent is 1. So this is the common one. Yeah. So it will be a times b times from the first term, it's left b squared minus 9. All over, the common factor between the terms, it will be 12a. So 12 times a times, from the first term, b squared left, plus from the second one, b minus 12. Yeah. And let's check if we can factor it more. Yeah, this one is difference between perfect square. So it will be A times B times B minus 3 times B plus 3. All over 12 times A times to factor negative 12, we'll use the 4 and negative 3. So 4 times negative 3, negative 12, and when we add this one. So times b plus 4 times b minus 3. So equals the common factor between numerator and denominator. First of all, it's a, so we can simplify by it. And after we see b minus 3, so we can simplify by it, it will be equals, it is left factor b and b plus 3, so b times b plus 3 all over 12 times b plus 4, which it is equals b squared plus 3b over 12b, Plus 12 times 4 is 48. So let's get numerator, denominator in their simplest form. And first of all, let's find the domain. So x cubed minus 9x squared minus 10x does not equal to 0. The common factor x times x squared minus 9x minus 10 does not equal to 0. Factor the negative 10, so negative 10 times 1. When we multiply negative 10 and when we add negative 9, so it will be x times x minus 10 times x plus 1 
does not equal to zero from the first one, first factor. X does not equal to zero from the second one. X does not equal to 10. And from the last one, X does not equal to negative one. So the domain, it will be real numbers minus the elements, negative one, zero, 10. And now we come back and we will factor numerator two. So I will take it separate and after I will put them back into the fraction. So we have x cubed plus 9x squared minus 10x. The common factor it is x times x squared plus 9x minus 10. It will be 10 negative 1. So it will be now I can go and write x times x plus 10 times x minus 1 all over the denominator we factor it here. So x times x minus 10 times x plus 1. The common factor is x only. So in simplest form, it will be x plus 10 times x minus 1 all over x minus 10 times x plus 1. So the domain here, it is over 1. So it will be x minus 5 does not equal to 0, which means x does not equal to 5. And x squared minus 1 does not equal to 0, which means x does not equal positive or negative 1. So the domain, it's the real numbers minus the elements, negative 1, 1, and 5. Before we multiply, we said we have to simplify. And to simplify, we need, uh, uh, we need factors that we can look for the common factors. So first of all, the common factor between 2x squared negative 10x, it is 2x. So I will put here 2x times, from the first term, left x minus, from 10x is 5, over x minus 5 is factored, you cannot factor it more, times x squared minus 1, it's difference between perfect square, so we can factor it into x minus 1, times x plus 1, times, let's take this one separate and see how to factor it, 3x squared plus 4x plus 1. It's a quadratic trinomial, no common factor between the terms. So to factor it, I'm going to use the x method. Remember that on top we have the product AC, down coefficient B, and left and right we look after two factors when we multiply two numbers, when we multiply product AC, and when we add this B. So let's see, AC is 3 times 1, which is 3. The B coefficient, it is 4. Now, which are the two numbers? When we multiply their product 3 and when we add their sum is 4, and these numbers are 3 and 1 over 3x, both of them. Each fraction take its simplest form. So it will be from the first fraction, we have x plus 1 times from the second fraction, 3x plus 1, all over 1 equals, let's look for the common factors. So x minus 5, it's a common factor, x plus 1, it's a common factor, and nothing else. So we can write equals 2x times 3x plus 1 all over x minus 1. As I said, you can keep the answer in factored form or you can distribute. So it will be 6x squared plus 2x 
over x minus 1. So I will take it one by one, separate and factor it. Each numerator, denominator, I will take it one by one and factor it. I take the first one. So we have x4 plus 3x cubed minus 30x squared. The common factor it is x squared. So it will be x squared plus 3x minus 30. Why did I put 3? It's x cubed only. Wait. I did mistake here. It's now 3. So x4 plus x cubed minus 30 x squared equals. So the common factor x squared x squared plus x minus 30 negative 36 negative 5. When we multiply negative 30 we add its 1. So it will be x squared times x plus 6 times x minus 5. From denominator, x squared minus 3x So negative 18, it's negative 6 and 3. When we multiply negative 18 and when we add this negative 3. So to factor it, x minus 6 times x plus 3. Next, we have x cubed plus x squared minus 30x. The common factor it is x times x squared plus x minus 30. And if you can see this one, this expression, it's the same this one. So it will be x times x plus 6 times x minus 5. And the last one, it's x squared minus 36, which is difference between perfect square, so it will be x minus 6 times x plus 6. And divide between fractions, the first fraction we keep it, divide changes into times, the reciprocal of the second one. So then, I will take the first numerator, which in factorit form is here, and I will write it x squared times x plus 6 times x minus 5 all over x squared minus 3x, it's here, x minus 6 times x plus 3. As we said, divide changes into times the reciprocal of the second fraction. So this one, it goes up. x minus 6 times x plus 6. And the numerator goes down. And that one is this, x times x plus 6 times x minus 5. And now we look for the common factors. Let's see. We have x squared and x down, so x, it goes with x, x plus x with x plus x, x minus 5, x minus 5, x minus 6 with x minus 6. So what is it left in the numerator and the denominator? It will be equals x times x plus 6 over x plus 3 in simplest form. Thank you.